All right, welcome back to TCG Love. And we opened every single product um, already at least once. Open all of this. Um, so now we really have to just go through the rest here. Maybe focus on the giveaway. Um, more to that in a second. Uh, and we start off today with the collector booster. So I still have three and I really want to know if I get some rings here. Um, I hear that the one of one ring is uh, more likely to be in a gift bundle, which I can't get my hands on there sold out everywhere so that feels bad man i hope i will get some at one point but now we have to do with this um let's open this there will be a giveaway once i open every single product and i will give away booster packs from this bundle as well as uh, all of these cards and this ring went up in price already like again it's quite valuable like the, the bundle itself is worth 80 bucks and this ring is already like 50 or 60 bucks by now that's pretty crazy. One of you guys will get this ring. Uh, the only thing you have to do is um, comment on this video, leave a comment, comment on all the future videos. And based on the value that we get from this pack now on, on this video, you will be getting giveaway points. And then there's going to be a roulette game. And the more points you have, the higher the chance that you win that roulette game. And then whoever is lucky um, gets this scene. All four cards and then each booster will be raffled out uh, as well so this bundle is uh, for the giveaway uh, this got sponsored to me by games island uh, many thanks to them uh, if you want to support me you uh, you can click the link in the description to games island there's an affiliate link it would really help me out uh, either way let's open this collector booster box and see what we get here i will be scanning all the rares and the fix and I will try to get um, the buying price back. So this one costed me 475 euros. I bought it during pre-release. Um, well, yeah, during pre-release. Um, so it's, it's a little bit cheaper than what it's going for now, but will we get $475 back from this? Uh, let's see. Uh, it's all up to the box topper and maybe a ring um, mm. in the in the boxes. Otherwise, I don't think there's a chance to get 750 as uh, 50, uh, 75 back. Uh, either way, let's uh, try it. Let's scan. And the box topper is cable coffers. Not sure if this is Minos Morgul uh, cable coffers. Not sure if this is uh, a big one. It's not search foil. And by the way, I was pretty ignorant the first few videos about search foils. This one's 30 bucks, so that's not bad. Already a good start. It's pretty ignorant about search foils. Uh, they can go up to a thousand bucks for some search foils. And search foils can only be these reprint box topper things, but they can also be in the packs. So we still might get a search foil here in one of these packs. Uh, that would be also pretty good. I think a search foil, a ring, or yeah, any of that would save this pack and maybe the rest uh, of the products that I have because I spent 4,300 euros on all of it. And I don't think I will be making that money back unless we pull something really valuable here um, that we didn't do yet. Uh, so, okay, the first ray here is there and back again. It's not a bad card. In foil, it might be worth something. The scanner says... Uh, 444. Uh, in foil, it's 5 bucks. So not bad. Uh, press the enemy in the extended art. It's the next square. 30 cents. Sure, it's not worth much. Assemble the end mood. Commander extended art. 127. Uh, Frodo Baggins, Faramir. It's the next ray here. I don't think worth much, but maybe a buck. No, 29 cents. Uh, what else got we here? Witch King of Angmar. This was worth a bit. This is the ring treatment and in foil. This might be worth quite uh, quite a bit. Wasn't that expensive though. And in foil, nine bucks. So not bad. Uh, each booster pack in here is about 40 bucks. So I don't think we got 40 here, but it's not a bad start. Let's see what we got in the second one. Oh man, I really wish we can pull a ring here. I'm not sure. Well, they're quite rare. It's almost impossible to slaughter. The ring can always, is, will always be, if we get one, in the fourth 
uh, common slot. So we have four common foils here, one, two, three, and after this one, there's either the ring or a fourth common. We got a fourth common, of course. So that's where you have to look out for it. File of Galadriel. That's the first ray right here in this pack. 79 cents, not much. Anduril Flame of the West, it's not a bad card. Should be worth a few bucks. Extended art, five bucks. Uh, Losarnak uh, Captain, I guess, uh, I hope I pronounced that right. Come on. Oops, scanned it twice now. Let's scan it again. One dollar, and I'll delete one of them. One dollar is not bad. Got Gimli here, Mary. It's one of the cheapest rares. 43 cents. And we got the last March of the End. Ends in the beautiful scene version, full art scene version. The normal version is worth a few bucks. This one's probably a little bit more. 10 bucks, not bad. That's pretty good. Another Gimli here and Mines of Moria. It's also not worth much, I think. Price unavailable, sure, whatever. It's not worth much. All right, so that's that. Third booster pack. Oh man, it's collector boosters. Each time there can be absolute insanity in here. So one, two, three, and four comments. And no ring again. Uh, Fall of Care Andros, first rare, which is also not worth much. Makes sense. But we get the lighted halfling and the extended art. So that's must, that must be 20 bucks by now. This one goes up in price a lot. 14 says the scanner, sure. Farmer Cotton, it's the next rare here, 165, and we got a Nazgul, which are also worth about 10 bucks, I think now. They also dropped a little bit in price, I'm a little bit sad that I didn't sell them earlier, because now they are dropping already a bit. The Shire, it's not worth much, I think, $1.11, but Bilbo here, Oliphant, and Zauron the Dark Lord, oh boy, look at this. Foil, ring, uh, treatment. I think this might be worth a bit. There's one Zauron version that is worth absolutely nothing, but this one is worth 11 bucks in foil, so pretty good. All right, pretty constant, consistent value in each pack by now, for now. Let's see what else. So yeah, the giveaway points will be based on what the scanner tells me basically in the end. Um, there is going to be a number here on the top right corner. Um, that number will be a little bit different than what the scanner tells me, because I'm not going to count in that number any card that is below $1. Eoma Marshall of Rohan. But I think the giveaway points will be based on the scanner, and I hope there's not going to be a card that is not going to get scanned. Um, three, eighty-seven. Uh, taunt from the Rampart. And basically, if the, the scanner says price unavailable and that number goes still up, it's basically I looked up the price online and put it manually. I will do some gejang to get the biggest number possible for the giveaway points. 52 cents for Legolas. And in the end, we got Lobelia, Sackvile Baggins, and Foil Scene version. That's also pretty, uh, not much, but probably five bucks, right? In foil, mm, no, one dollar, so sellable. All right, next one. Come on, I'm a little bit afraid that I can damage the cards in here, so maybe I should just open them like this. Okay, token in the end, so we got one, two, three, and no ring here either. Doors of Durin in foil, it's probably also less than a buck. 50 cents, thanks. Uh, Gloin Dwarf Emissary, also worth nothing. 40 cents. Uh, but we got Haldia Lorian Lieutenant here. And I don't think I ever pulled this one. Not sure how much it's worth. Let's see, extended art. 99 cents, it's commander card. All right. Uh, we got Barrow Downs, Bojuka uh, Bog. Is Bojuka Bog the more expense for the cheapest one? Not sure. Uh, it's not in foil, so it's not a search foil, but maybe it's a bit. $187, it says here. 
Is that correct or is this the search for version? Let's see. And then let's see. Edition. So the number here is 358. We got 358. Holy shit, is this actually $187 for the non foil? I'll check it actually online. Vujuka Bob. I remember somebody mentioned Vujuka Bob, but I thought it's maybe a meme and that's the most cheapest reprint, but maybe it's the most expensive one. Barrel Downs. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. Am I sitting on a tr uh, treasure here? Vujuka Bob. Vujuka Bob. Nope. We don't set on treasure. I'm not sure where the scanner. Picks it up that expensive. So it's $9, 9 dollars, nine forty nine. Uh, got my hopes up. Uh, why is the scanner saying it's that expensive? That's weird. It's the normal version as well. Well, uh, I guess I'll keep the that price for the giveaway, but yeah, it's not $187. We got an Asgore here though in foil, that's pretty cool. Let's keep going with the scanner. I do, uh, I, I think the scanner takes, let's put it in foil, 14 bucks for the foil. And the scanner does take TCG prices, I'm not sure what TCG is. There's also card market prices, but I left it at TCG, so maybe that's in the US and I don't think the prices vary that much between Europe and the US. Um, but yeah all right if you want correct prices and values check my links in the description i have two links to google sheets one is just in general for all the products how much i paid for them how much i made back how much i sell the cards for and the other link is more detailed view on this specific product where i list every card that i put up on card market and how much i put them up for and then how much i actually sell them for two or no ring here. First race Gandalf the Grey. In foil, still below one dollar probably. Oops, change language. No. Alright, whatever. Below one dollar. We got Shagrat here, loot bearer, extended art. Also probably not that much. 25 cents. Uh, Mary Warden of Isengard. Do you say Isengard? I only know the names by the German translation. So in German it would be Isengard. And Zauron the Necromancer, this is the cheaper version of Zauron, it's a few cents. 50 cents. And we got scene card, another scene card in foil, and Sting the Glinting Dagger in the scene view in foil. Oh man, I wish I could keep all these scene cards. No, this is not that expensive maybe i do keep it in foil it's 138 all right okay last pack and then we half through right no this is already the halfway mark carefully opening it all right one two three and no ring here man these rings so elusive last march of the ends In foil, it's 12 bucks, not bad. Uh, flowering of the white tree is five dollars. Uh, subjugate the hobbits. I'm a commander card, don't remember this one. One dollar. Uh, Zauron Black Lord again, non foil this time, but still cool. Seven bucks. Aragorn Company Leader, also a few bucks, I think. No, 78 cents, uh, 68 cents. Fury of Orcs and Minas Tirith. Minas Tirith? Uh, again, in German it's Minas Tirith. Right? Uh, don't remember correct. This is a weird card. The scanner can pick it up because it's white, probably. Come on, scan it. Minas Tirith. You got it? Yeah, you got it. In foil, 549. All right, five packs left. Come on, ring. Need a nice ring. One, two, three, and four. No rings here. 
Elephant Chorus, not a bad card either, and foil should be a few bucks. 339, uh, a lawful corrupt sheriff, I don't think worth much. Two bucks, alright. Model of Unity, not sure about that one. 54 cents. That golem here, we got Isengard Zaruman's Fortress. Uh, Buseju, who shelt us all? Oh boy. Who shelt us all? Is that the expensive Buseju card from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty? No, I think this is another one, right? Either way, uh, let's scan this one. Let's see if this guy picks it up. 750. Uh, Alright, 750, I guess. Got some seeing cards here. Frodo Zauron's Bane is the last rare. Not worth much, I think. 50 cents. Sure. Not even, got, not even gonna click the foil button. Alright, one, two, three, and no ring. No rings, no search foils. Come on, Zauron's Ransom. I opened five. Well, I opened, this is the third now, by now, but in the end I will have opened five uh, packs, Elven Chorus, Excellent Art, that's not bad. I hope I get at least one chase card, Bilbo's Ring. Either a search foil or a ring or, I don't know, something cool. 14 bucks, not bad, Bilbo's Ring. And uh, we got Rivendell here. Shouldn't be that much, Rivendell. One dollar. And the Balrog Durin's Bane. The next ray right here. One dollar. I'm actually recording. Thank God. Thank God. The last March of the Ends again, but in foil this time. That should be quite a penny. Uh, 13 something something. All right, that's cool. Let's keep going. Three packs left. All right. Am I getting out here empty handed again? Come on. One, two, three, and four. No ring. Here, me, the Mines of Moria. In foil 121, Lobelia, Sagwell Baggins, Extended Art. Should be a few bucks. No, 50 cents. Alright. Grey Host Reinforcements. I don't think this is valuable either. It's 26 cents. Then we got a ring treatment here, another ring treatment for Rosaurus Bane. 50 cents for that. And then we got again. The Balrog Durin's, uh, Durin's Bane in foil, scene version, scene or extended art, uh, full art. I don't think there's any full art that is not part of the scene, right, in the set. One dollar. Alright, nothing either there. Next pack. Let's open this one. Come on, come on, come on. One, two, three. Nothing here. Same as Gamchi. All right, this is a few bucks and foil should be not bad. Two seventy nine. Uh, the Battle of Bywater. Not much, I think. Seventy five cents. Arresto of the Council. Also a few cents. Uh, oh, Buckleberry Ferry. That's not bad. Oboro Palace in the Clouds. That's a good card. Uh, not foil. Still good. A few bucks. Uh, 16 bucks actually. That's pretty cool. Uh, scene view, scene card again. And Eowyn Shield Maiden. This is, I think, a commander in the commander decks. Uh, I don't think it's much. I think it's even below a dollar. Even for the extended art. Right? Are you even gonna scan? Come on. Come on, are you scanning? Let me play with the light a little bit here. Nope, it's not gonna scan. 
All right, just for the giveaway points, I will enter it manually. I don't think it's worth much though. Ayo Wim. Can I type it like that? No? That's, that's, that's shitty. Shield. Maiden. Aeon Shield Maiden. Plus. Boom. Edition. Uh, it's number 86. And it's foil. All right, 125, no, 80 cents, I guess. It's 80 cents, let's leave it at that. Let me clear this filter and keep going. All right, it's 80 cents, let's go here. The last pack, uh, are we getting something, something, come on. The last pack, I want something, something, something. Nope, no rings. No rings, still hope for a search for uh, War of the Last Alliance, the first ring here. Seven nine cents goes here. Shilob, child of child of Ungoliant. Standard art. One eighty three. Uh, Fires of Mount Doom. Two bucks sixty, all right, and Zaroman of many colors and the ring version. Two seventy two Lobelia Cyclal Baggins. Two bucks, one dollar. Actually, only one. And in the end, it got we got another Rivendell uh, in the scene version in foil. Did it scare? Nope. Doesn't scare again. Come on. Oh, want to scan. There we go. One ninety four. All right. So we scan everything. Let's see what the scanner says is the total here. Four hundred thirty-six dollars. Uh, That's pretty good actually. It's close to the buying price still. Uh, Forty dollars short, but better than expected without putting anything good here. Um, there's gonna be a different number here, um, but. That's more or less what it should look like. If you want to know exactly how much I sell them for, check the links in the description. There will be accurate numbers. And yeah, that's also the amount of giveaway points that I will be distributing uh, uh, between everybody that comments under this video. And then the more points you have, the higher the chance you win something in here. So yeah, that's that. Um, let's keep it short uh, um, with this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. The next one will be a few draft boosters, set boosters, maybe a few bundles uh, over the next few videos. Then uh, I hope I get something good in the last two collector boosters uh, boxes. Oh, I wish I pulled something exciting. Either way, that was not too bad. Let's check all the cards that uh, I pulled here. All the rest in the fix. Some good cards in here. Nothing special though. Nothing too crazy. Uh, all right. And then the few cards that are worth not that much either are here. I'll putting this up. I'll see how much I uh, make back with this product. Uh, and then we'll see in the end if I lost money on this set or not in total. Um, 